What's up, YouTube? How are we all doing today? <laughs> Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am here with one of my amazing friends, super Christmas-themed guy. His name is Brennan. Now, if you've been a part of my channel, you've probably seen him once or twice. As much as I wish he would have grinded Rocket League earlier and gotten good, he has not. Really good I, at Call of Duty. He is good at Call of Duty. He is really good. But I would like to change that. Now, I know there's a lot of you viewers out there who are probably pretty low rank. Let's say gold, platinum, maybe even some diamonds who uh, would really like some personal coaching. Now, I don't have the time to coach you guys personally. But what I do have time for is to coach one of my best friends for free for your guys' benefit. So I am going, going to try my best. <laughs> it's gonna be every kind of training in this. Yeah, he is he's very new, but I figured it would be fun to just turn this into a little YouTube series where whenever I'm at his house or he's at my house, um, we try our best to just fit about 45 minutes in where I give him Tina, tips. stop lying. We all know Brennan is here to coach you. Brennan is top 100 in the world and Tina is paying for coaching from him. They know. <laughs> they know. You ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it would be fun for us to come in here, uh, work every single time I see him, and just try to coach him to success and just see how quickly he improves compared to if he was just on his own with no coach or no outside training. So if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like it, comment on it, and if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we are on his account. He's going to play on my uh, gaming PC, and I am over here on my streaming laptop. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So those of you guys on YouTube, this is what my stream room looks like. It's actually a closet that I kind of turned into a stream room. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, first things first, I want you to go into training. Oh, free play, free play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to start with free play. No shot you chose. All right, give me this. <laughs> he chose the one map that is a weird wonky map. <laughs> one of the main things I noticed when you were playing your game is when you had the ball, you you didn't really know what to do with it. You were kind of just doing this. Yeah, I'm saying it's just impossible. Okay, well, there's a few types of shots you can go for that are really, really simple. Number one, you're going to just like put the ball to the side. You're going to go around it and just boost into it like that. That's all you do. Simple hook shot. Simple? But easy and effective. Let's make bets Wider. on how many tries it takes me to get this. <laughs> okay, so you go. You went a little too fast into it. I was going so slow. You were not though. No, you have to get a soft touch. So slow. Break, break, break. It's too, it's too hard. That's two. We're already down. We're already at. We're already at <laughs> two, guys. <laughs> All right. So just break, break. There you go. Now you can boost. No, not boost into it. But now you can drive into it. Get, it, get an angle. Get, get an angle. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, that's. That's the basics of it. Instead of starting from the middle, why don't you start like back here? Make it a little bit easier on yourself. You're gonna start from right here, and I just want you hit the ball to the side, Double stuff take a Oreo. wide turn, Incredible a really wide turn, and boost into it. All right, and just hit it really hard. Got to boost. <laughs> so this type of shot is very, very easy for someone who doesn't know how to dribble because you really don't need to dribble the ball. That, that, that's that's a lot better. There you go. It's more of a timing thing than a mechanical thing. Now, you, you want to add some boost in there too because the boost is what's going to give it power. So try one more time. Boost. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Finish it. Hey, we'll take that. That's a great start. In Rocket League, dodging is the most important thing. Because one thing that I saw you not really do that often when you were playing that ranked game is whenever you didn't have boost, you just kind of did this. You just kind of moseyed around the field. But if you front flip, you gain a lot of momentum. So you see how fast I, I got supersonic? Yeah, let me see it. Let me see it. Okay. That. I hate that. You hate what? Like it'll go off the side a little bit. I'm gonna teach you something right now, and you need to remember it. See this button? Yeah. That's your drift button. Yeah. See how you're drifting around? Yeah. Okay, so you say that when you're flipping, sometimes you'll land kind of cockeyed. Don't piss me off. And, like, and you'll, I'll be going to the so net. So you'll be doing this off the side, like, like that, right? Well, the way to stop that is to hold drift. So say you're, you're you're jumping, you're landing weird. So now you hold drift and you dodge again. So you're, you're dodging. You're dodging. You, you hold down drift and you dodge again and kind of re. Re remove yourself. You what? kind of just regain your control. Colby! See, there you go. What? 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 A, a Rocket League realization. What? what? You see how you maintain your what? momentum? 
and then, it across and then during Fire. that second flip, you can kind of put your car back in the right angle to where you can actually control it. What? That's cool. That's cool. There you go. See. That's going to help a lot. If you're like flying through the air, so let's say uh, the guy bumps you, hold down drift immediately. It needs to become a mental thing that you do automatically every single time. Part of that's called recovery. So like whenever you're in a weird spot or whatever, recovery. Another thing I want him and you guys in chat who are lower ranked to try if you haven't already is turning quickly. So, right, normally this is how fast you turn going supersonic. Not very fast. This is what happens when you're supersonic and you drift. You lose a lot of momentum, but you turn a lot faster. Here's what you need to do. Whenever you are drifting into a turn, you don't want to hold down drift a lot. You just want a second, just a quick, just a quick little bit. That's much, much better. That is much, much better. So drifting and using drift the correct way is something that a lot of uh, lower ranked players have no idea about. They just simply don't think about it and they don't do it at all. Okay, I'm gonna teach you something else that is going to help you tremendously. And again, guys, this is just the basics because he's pretty new to the I game. Need the basics. <laughs> all right, this is one of the most important things that you can learn at any level. It's, it's very easy once you think about it. For this mechanic, you only need one thing. You need to bind air roll right or left to any button of your choice. I personally, like to have it on L3 because that's kind of how I control my car just normally. But for, you guys can do it in any button. So there's also, I have arrow left on this button as well. So let me show you. This is a half flip. All right. The next thing. That. The What's next that? thing how is the that. How do you do that? How the hell do you do that? All right. So it looks complicated. It's not complicated. Number one, I'm going to, I'm going to, you're going to do this by yourself without me showing you exactly how. Number one, backflip. Backflip again. Now, so when you backflip, immediately put that analog stick up. That was perfect. Make sure that when you do the backflip and when you do the cancel, that you're canceling it straight up. That's, there you go, there you go. That's much better. Now, when you cancel it, you're gonna hold down this button right here. It's all in one swift motion. So don't press this button until you're already up. So you're gonna cancel the flip and then press that button. Uh, right. For obvious reasons, guys, this mechanic is so important. Let's say you're trying to shoot the ball, right? Like, so let's say the ball's over here. So you're trying to score, whatever, boom, boom, boom. They clear the ball to your half of the field. Well, what do you do? You could just turn and boost. That's eh. so annoying. It's so annoying, it takes too long, all right? So boom, they clear the ball. All you do, you half flip, and boom, you're already on the way back to your own half of the net. So I think you are ready for one training pack, and then we're gonna put you back Whoa! into another game of ranked, all right? Whoa! See, Let's put you into better. something here. We're gonna do, do a striker. Rolls. No, we're, we're just doing a striker. We're gonna do a pro striker. Not in the air yet. No, we, you don't gotta go in the <laughs> air. Listen, you can play Rocket League a lot and get all the way up to like platinum without really needing to go in the air that much, all right? You'll learn the air stuff. Right now you need to learn how to dodge into the ball to shoot the ball better. All right, so I, number I, one, make sure you're always on ball cam. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna jump and dodge into the ball. Gotcha. Jump, dodge right into the ball. A little bit soon. Here's a very big thing for Rocket League. So you get the most power out of your touch when you dodge at the last moment. So you're gonna dodge right as you hit that ball. Now this entire training pack, I just want you to try and hit the ball by dodging into it every time. So shoot the ball, make sure it scores, but I want you to dodge into it and I want you to wait until that like last moment. So you're gonna jump and dodge. Getting the timing down is one of the harder parts of Rocket League because you also have to aim your car. When you're going towards the ball as it's bouncing to you, you have to make sure that you're actually aiming your car in the right direction. That's there. Okay, look at that. Top Dang left. It. There Dang you go. It. There you go. Do it, but jump. Okay. Yeah, you're getting it. Go in it. there. I mean, it counts. <laughs> just, yeah, I'll say just move on. Just We're move taking on. it. <laughs> Literally the last moment jump. Perfect, there you go, there you go. I wanna teach everybody in chat this right here. I see a lot of you guys do something like this. All right, let's say you start over here. You're just gonna boost right into the ball. Boom, not, not really great, right? But if instead of doing that, you allow yourself to take a wider angle and then turn into it, you're going to be able to get a lot more power, a lot more accuracy, and you're probably gonna be able to hit the ball where you want to. Now, again, this, that actually, that, that that did look a lot better. I can't, I can't even lie. Like the way that you went about that one. All right, we're, we're gonna work with that. Move on to the next one. Okay, I like that. I like I did that. that on purpose. I did that on purpose. I mean, I believe you. Max. So. Woo! 
<laughs> you're gonna hop into another ranked game, and I'm going to actively be giving you tips I while you're playing. I will not be wall dashing. Sorry, <laughs> Sonus. Okay, go all the way back. Go, go all the way back here. There you go. Oh, try to. All right, no, no, you're good. You missed score. Oh, no, go, go. in. No, yeah, don't even try. Go steal that boost right there. Go take that boost. Fight. Nice. Now he has no boost. Okay, so he's awkward. Turn around. Okay, now turn around and shoot it. All you gotta do is put it on net. There you go. Hey, hey, there you go. Give me a fucking high five. Come on now. There you go. The bump you did there was perfect. That was clutch. All right, now turn around. You're gonna have to defend or just wait, 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 wait. Let, it, let him hit it. Now go. So now you have control. You gotta be careful. That's fine. Good job. Okay. There you go. Oh, free open net. Take it slow. There you yeah, go. That's, nice. That's in. There you that's go. In. That's in. That's All in. right. See, honestly, when you're playing ones, especially at a low rank, be patient. Let your opponent make a mistake because they will make a mistake. Every time. Perfect. You're going to have to go quick because he might score here. That's okay. Nice. No, cool. it's all right. What I would have done if I were you, you want to turn and jump into it right there. So you kind of you, you kind of waited. You didn't jump. You have to jump or else the ball's going in, but that's all right. Okay, take it slow. Take it slow. Do the hook shot thing. Do the hook shot thing. Or just let him make a mistake. There you go. Honestly, if you can turn that fast enough, go, go, go. Open. There you go. Hey, hey. That's good. Whee! Let them make a mistake. Just be patient. All right, so go straight. Grab grab some pads. Go straight because he's going to shoot that. It's going to be on net. You got to go quick. Oh, okay. That was, you know, a bad time. That was just, that was bad timing. I mean, you know, I... It is bad timing. Yeah, he made a mistake, yeah. but uh, most players yeah. are going to score that, and so you have to just go back quickly, all right? Ah, I choked. Oh, it's okay. You're messing him up. Can you half flip? You can get there. You can get there. Ah, oh, that's okay. Remember, you learned the half flip. The half flip would have been good there, right? Right. Yeah. I forgot. You're good. <laughs> I forgot. You're good. Now go right in front of the net and then wait till it bounces and go turn around and shoot it. Nope. That's okay. Just go back. You're right. Yep. Go back. That way. Nice. Now turn, turn the ball cam back on. Oh! <laughs> I should have had it a little sooner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say that. Uh, whenever you turn your ball cam off, make sure to turn it on pretty quickly. That way you can see what's going on. Oh, nice save. Okay, turn the ball cam back on. Okay, now you're just going to dribble it. Wow, he's not very nice. Nice. Okay, can you turn? Is it in? It's not in. It's in. Yeah. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, hey, listen. I saw a lot of progression. Now, one thing I noticed for sure, you were at some awkward angles a few times where the ball was moving kind of like this and you were trying to drift into it. You don't want to drift into it at all. Every time you see the ball in a, in a position where you can make a first touch, you want to just dodge into it every time. Try and dodge more often, you're going to win this game. And you got to make sure that you're using your boost. You look a little bit conservative with your boost usage. If you know you need to get somewhere, don't be afraid to use your boost. Normal kickoff, just make sure you're dodging into the ball. Oh! Just you just got there before him. You got there, but he wasn't ready. Try to get behind the ball on the kickoff. Don't don't hit it on the side. Hit it from the middle. Perfect. You always want to hit the ball at the middle. One thing is that you never want to try and do is hit the ball into the corner because you're just going to give your opponent the chance. I do like that you dodged there. I don't think he's going to be able to turn this around. Slow yourself down. Let, let him hit it. And then as soon as he hits it, you go. We might be here a while. Okay, now go. See, wide open net. You can get there. You can get there. Go quick and then. Ah, yeah, you rushed it. You I just, tried to like jump I know, sideways. No, no, you, you could have sideways. totally done that. There you go. There you go. Turn. Ah, you, you can be patient. Remember, he wasn't even close. You can be. You can be very, very patient when that happens. Don't dodge into it. Just turn into it and hit it. There you go. Be one more little tap and just be patient. Now turn. There you go. Whenever you have a ball in the corner, you never want to dodge into it. You just want to hit the ball into the midfield where it's in front of the goal then you can dodge into it he gives you time take it wow hey that's a good shot right there that's a good shot that, that's a hook shot too dubs that's what i'm talking about baby give me another one he made me so good, the guy left. I, I think that's like, improvement. I feel like we have uh, learned a lot, and I feel like uh, he will continue to learn a lot.
All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, do not forget to like it. Comment down below on any tips you guys have on maybe what we should do, how I should train him, or really just anything in general, because I'd love to hear what you guys think. And I would also love to continue to do this in the future and make more videos of me training him and trying to help him improve a lot faster. And so uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm excited to do more with you. Got anything to say to the YouTube? Thank you, Tyler. Hey, guys, uh, like and comment and let me know if you like my car because <laughs> I think it's pretty sick. Do what? <laughs> the Twitch chat has been giving you some shit about your car. What's wrong with the car? <laughs> <laughs> I, had to spend, I had to spend money to be able to trade, so I bought a car. Fair enough. What do you want from me? All right, guys, Ugh. we will see you in the next one. <laughs>